ships. Bag it up. You can't have construction without trash going out. Tell your neighbor, out with the trash. Somebody needs to go, baby. If Sister Kim was in here, so Sister Kim with him, she said, just get some Clorox, it'll fix it. Yeah, but I can't tell you, you can't fix it with bleach. Show somebody. Baby, you got to get some power, some purpose power. You ain't going to talk back to me. You better get some purpose power so you can fix your situation, baby. Nothing else is working. You need the power to change your life. I don't know about you, but I'm under construction. Guess what? And guess what? It hurt. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It hurt. Because you know what? God is cutting away some stuff. And when you sometimes doing construction, <laughs> sometimes doing construction, you got to tear down some stuff. You, you got to tear down some stuff when you're under construction. You know? Tell the devil I don't use that no more. Tell the devil he got to go and she got to go because I don't need them in my life no more. You know what? Tear down! Destroy it. Head off somebody. You need a wrecking crew. Hey. Yeah. Oh, I feel like preaching. I don't know. I asked him this morning, have I preached too long? Did I bring out too many props? What I'm going to do next week? I don't know. But it's how wrong I'm out here now. I right. had a generator. Ooh. Well, yeah. I told you earlier, got to plug in the new power. Some power, you have to keep the energy flowing. So the power will work in your life. That's why you pray. I, I opened up my toolbox. I'm almost through, y'all. I'm almost through. My time just about to come and go. But you can't work. You can't, you can't rush the construction. You just got to endure. Sometimes you got to go to, to the hotel and stay while they tearing up your house. I don't know if y'all have seen these extreme makeovers. They, they put the family out, send them on vacations or whatever. And they, back, they out there wondering what's going on back at the house. Baby, I came to tell you, when God get ready to start working on you, he will conceal what he's doing. Yeah, my God. Thank you, Lord. Yes, he will. And, yeah. and add, when he conceal it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to know that. You got to know that. Everybody's going to wonder what's going on with your life. You ain't doing what you used to do. You don't show up where you used to show up. And you won't know what's happening. Right. You'll be like, what is he doing with me? Yeah, I don't know what y'all. I used to ride down the street. I remember when God started working on me, I went to roll him up and took me a little hit, and I decided I ain't wanted no more. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know. I just thought I lost the habit. Thought I just decided I didn't want it no more. But God was working. Did I tell you it's painful? Y'all still with me? Y'all don't know what I'm going to pull out next to y'all. God be proving some stuff. And God will cut some stuff away. You know what? When he cutting, it don't feel good to be cut on. Yeah, but something has got to be removed. Some of them old relationships we've had for years, we got to say no. You got to look at the call ID and say, I ain't going to talk to them no more. You got to make up your mind. You know, and when you run into them somewhere, and they're like, why you ain't called me? Why you don't return my call? Say, you know what? It's a God thing. You wouldn't understand. I'm under construction. You tell me I know what I'm talking about. Tell your neighbor, say, let God cut it. So you'll be all right after a while. But you know what? God won't cut the area. He won't fix the area until it's been identified. And the writer says, create in me a clean heart. And I, I, I got one question to ask you. How is it that he would say, God, my area of need is my heart? So, so, so create in me. 
when, when we bought our new our home, every time I ever bought a new home, I've had three, I think, or maybe four uh, in my lifetime. They, they do what they call a walkthrough. Uh -huh. And when you walk through, they say, take this tape. Uh -huh. Everywhere you find a flaw in the house. Put a little tape on it. And the people that can change it uh -huh. will identify the tape uh -huh. and look for your problem. Yeah, yeah. And so the writer said, God created me because of a problem. Uh -huh. <laughs> In the heart. Created me a clean heart. And then he said, and renew the right spirit. Your attitude needs to change. Yeah. How you see things, how you view things, yeah. all this stuff needs to work on. But baby, yeah. God will not work on your area until you identify the need. You got to identify, I have a problem before your problem can be addressed. Oh God, I just preach to somebody. Have I preached too long? Anybody need some tape? There's some areas I need to identify. I need God. Somebody just holler out, I need the whole road. God, I need you to work on me. Not my mama, not my daddy, not my sister, not my brother. But it's me, oh God, standing. I'm on all out of shit. When the main, yeah, master constructor. When, yeah, chief architect. When, yeah, the builder of all builders steps on the scene. He know what the problem is. When surface cleaning didn't fix it. Uh -huh. When commercial style brooms didn't get rid of it. Uh -huh. And he still got broken situations. And uh, he said, I know what we need to fix. Uh -huh. This old broke down building. Uh -huh. And uh, I can see him in heaven uh, going through. Yeah. Yeah. And say, I know what we need here. And so, uh, <laughs> what is it? What you need here? Yeah, the blood. Yeah, the little, put a little blood to it. The blood will fix your problem. Yeah, the blood will fix your problem. Yeah, well, how would I get the blood? Yeah, I'm glad. That not only was he a master builder, he knew how to get the blood to us. Yeah. And how did he get the blood to you? Well, he took, mm, let's see here. Yeah, he took, yeah, a few nails. Y'all ain't gonna hear me preaching here, but I'm gonna get out of here. Yeah, yeah, he went to Calvary. He took a couple of nails. Yeah, three nails. Mm -hmm. And uh, took some wood. Yeah. yeah. Laid him. Yeah, stretched him wide. Yeah. They ain't gonna help me preach here. Yeah. And then they uh, lift him high. Yeah. Some nails and some wood. And, uh, and blood. And uh, that was a major renovation that took place. But some of us needed a total makeover. Some of us needed uh -huh, a good renovation. Uh, but I can't get more to tell you. Uh, God knows how to change our lives. He knows how to fix us where we're torn down. Knows where to build us up when we're giving up. Uh, Y'all ain't gonna let me preach here. Well, I came to tell you, it ain't over. Yeah, because after he's done the work in your life, uh, you got to do a walkthrough, and then I came to tell you 
what a walk to look like. Think about the way he brought you from and how he brought you out. You ought to shout your prayer. Put me beneath the canvas of life and begin to work on me. 
Work on me, God. Work on me, God. Work on me, God. Work on me. 